Hi everyone, I am Arvind Bansal. Amongst us we have Anand Lunia, a very close friend of mine and one of the most successful early stage venture capitalists in the country. Anand has been an uh, investor, an angel investor, uh, an entrepreneur, now runs a very successful fund called India Quotient. Uh, he loves tweeting and <laughs> speaking about speaking to the entrepreneurs and helping them you know build their businesses uh, anand thanks for joining us today and you know i think uh, you are one of the most successful domestic vcs in the country yeah. the, the more you say it i become more successful <laughs> <laughs> and you know and you follow a very different uh, contrarian and barbell strategy of investing in the startups can you elaborate a bit and how do you go about doing it uh, some of our investments have been uh, themes which people would you know dismiss for example social media built out of india for example using purely data driven uh, no human intervention lending you know uh, or software for small businesses right indian small businesses these are themes which most people will say won't work uh, we made them work and uh, we typically try to be 2 3 years ahead of the market and uh, the only thing is that you're playing with people's money uh, to earn that right uh, what we're trying to do is invest a small portion of the fund into themes which are tried and tested which we are very good at and uh, so this is the other end of the bubble where part of the money goes into things like brands things like financial services where we are very sure of success where we good track record and the rest of the money then we take risks with and uh, this two ends we try to either be very sure of the returns or reasonably risky returns right? and that's the bubble we try to create and how do you you know given that it's a fairly competitive market uh, how do you see that you know domestic players competing with you know large foreign players because domestic capital continue to be limited and which spaces you think will in the next 10 15 years will evolve and how do you see them so you know uh, the the entire movement in the whole commerce industry right india skips revolutions as we saw the whole world had wired broadband and then they had mobile broadband uh, we didn't have phones we didn't have wired broadband we straight away jumped to mobile broadband right uh, if you look at the retail space right we we didn't go into a huge retail expansion india probably has only 50 malls but the e-commerce companies are way bigger than even existing shopper stop or lifestyle or those kind of plays right uh, so we'll have jumps in revolutions uh, you may not really see a lot of uh, for example uh, movie theaters being built but you will see a lot of movies being consumed on mobile phones right so we are skipping revolutions and uh, hence uh, consumer consumption right uh, through mobile phone right is going to be a big theme uh, consumption of content consumption of gaming consumption of uh, commerce financial services uh, are, are going to be big themes uh, once the consumption starts happening we are going to see secondary industries to support them so you'll have delivery infrastructure companies you will have uh, software companies supporting the online businesses and b2b marketplaces like india mart and all of that right? uh, this is the broad theme uh, this theme has some underlying currents uh, one of the key underlying currents is that uh, the middle class that we talked about is not very rich there is a huge lower middle class happening but today the uber driver actually makes more money than the entry level infosys and tcs programmer right? yeah. uh, these are undercurrents uh, people are marrying late people live as bachelors much longer which will mean more cosmetics more uh, bachelor food home delivery and more things like oil rooms right uh, these are the underlying currents and will will the combination of these currents using technology will be a key theme for investment and how do you you know given that it's a fairly competitive market Uh, how do you see that you know domestic players competing with you know large foreign players because domestic capital continue to be limited i agree with you uh, if you analyze all the large outcomes so far the they have been led by all uh, foreign vc funds right um, foreign money so if you look at flipkart ola oyo rooms uh, not a single rupee of indian investors uh, in there right? uh, there are a few firms like me Uh, we are just six years old. Uh, most of us are six, seven, eight years old. We are trying. Uh, my firm has now produced three outcomes of half a billion dollars. Uh, early steps, right? but hopefully we'll go there. Uh, it's a long road. Uh, foreign firms are probably 25 years old. A lot of credibility. They also have seen a lot of successes in China and US. Uh, 
Having said that, uh, the advantage that uh, firms like mine bring is that we are sons of soil. We know how India behaves and a lot of times things which uh, other investors will not be comfortable, we are very comfortable doing those things. Thanks for joining us today and taking the time out and it was great talking to you and uh, we will be in touch. For more such thought leadership articles and videos, please follow us on Avenda's social media handle.